Okay, let's review the process. Again, we, we, did, a, um, we did this example before. I, went to, I used Grapher. I'm going to do Grapher for this one as well. So what I want to do is go to open up Grapher, and I want to type it in. And let me just um, uh, explain what we did last time. Last time we, we went from the template. Let me do that. So I'm going to start a new equation from template. And I get choice up here, parametric, differential equation. I'm going to do vector field. <coughs> I'm going to do explicit Cartesian. All right, let's go OK on it. And let's start typing this in. All right, so again, this kind of reminds me they're operating on this, um, uh, it looks like a matrix to me, where you got x and y. So x is the x coordinate, y is the y coordinate. So, you know, what, what is it the operator doing? It's differentiating. So the diff derivative of x with respect to x is 1. And again, y prime is uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. And what's that going to equal to? Well, according to what I'm reading over here, it's equal to minus x divided by y. So minus x divided by y. All right, let's hit enter. Now, if I were to look at that direction field, and there's something a little bit deceptive about this, I would say it looks like a bunch of ellipses to me. Uh, like if I follow one of these paths over here, it looks like an ellipse. But this is rather deceptive. All right, so one thing I want to point out to you, that when you're looking at it, uh, a direction field, make sure your scale is correct. All right, so what I want to do, I want to equalize the axis. And once I do that, they no longer look like an ellipse to me. It looks like a circle. So what I want to do is I want to type in an equation of a circle. And it looks like a circle centered at the origin, by the way. So I'm going to say, you know, x squared plus y squared um, equals... I don't know. Let's make it, I, I, have, I see a radius there. Let's make it radius 1. And I'm expecting to see a circle now that goes through that direction field. All right. Look, it looks pretty good to me. Now, you could, you could change the radius, you know, maybe make it um, 4, and then it's going to go through the, the 2 then. I see that. And you could do this all, all day long. I'll, I'll do 9. All right. Let me go back to 4. And let me explain again what happens when you start to, uh, let me, actually, let me go back to 1. If I do something like this, and watch what happens, it definitely looks like an ellipse now. All right? What happened, though? The scale changed. Remember, be very careful with this, because this does look like an ellipse. What you're going to do is equalize the axis, and it looks like a circle. All right? So I want to say that we, we drew the picture out for you in the notes. That's a direction field over there. And over here, I, I just did a, uh, some circles over here. All right? Again, we'll go through the notes. And we'll talk about what you need to do with a piece of paper and pencil. Thank you.